Forward and round. First and foremost, I'm going to pop my horse into the sweet spot by using the one to five to find where that sweet spot is. Once I've got that sweet spot, I then will, I've got my horse in a shape, I will then apply my inside leg to help soften that horse. And once that horse softens, I then put my outside leg on to go forward. Hence, so we roll that horse around in a, in a shape. And I've got my inside leg to round, outside leg pushing the horse forward. As we walk forward and round in that circle, to change direction, I will stop in a shape and hold that shape. Maintaining my leg pressure to hold the horse from falling in or falling out, I will then change direction, direction rein straight out for the crucifix, brake rein at my left hip, and bring that front end all the way through by pushing with my left leg at the girth. I then will shape, soften with my inside leg, and push with my outside leg to get that horse to walk forward and round in that circle. Inside leg to round, outside leg to keep that horse going forward, maintaining that shape. We'll do this over and over again to help with my hands and my feet. Stop, change direction, pass through the, past the front of the cone, shape, soften, inside leg, outside leg to walk forward. Try to maintain a symmetrical circle around your marker. This exercise here is a large circle with intermittent small circles within it. The um, aim of this exercise is for us to go around the individual markers within the large circle, going halfway between the, mar the marker you're going in and the next one, making sure that your you maintain your horse in a shape. So first and foremost, I'll put my horse into a, a sweet spot, which is on this little one, about a two and a half position, inside leg to round, outside leg to push forward and just squeeze a little harder with the outside leg to ask for that trot. Maintaining your shape, halfway between the markers, open your brake rein out and apply a little more inside leg, which is the right leg, off around to the next cone. Open the brake rein out, which is my left hand, and apply a little bit more right leg, so on and so forth, until we get that horse to go flow nice and smoothly between the cones, doing nice, smooth, even circles around each cone. We'll continue on around to the next one. If your horse feels out of shape or out of balance at all, you can just stay on that same cone for a little while until that horse balances up. Or you organise your hands and feet correctly. We go off to that next cone round through here, through the centre. When we feel our horse is softened down and working nicely there, we stop in a shape. Relax that horse, give it a moment to, to dwell on what just happened there. Pop the horse in a three and a half position, which is to the outside. I will apply a little bit more pressure with my left leg and back that horse just to take the weight off the front end. Do a 180 all the way back through to the outside. I will then shape my horse, soften it with the inside leg, and I ask with a little more pressure to the outside leg to ask my horse to trot off. 
And it's the same in reverse, out and round to the next cone, maintaining my shape. Horse shaped into a sweet spot. She's a little bit stiffer on this side, so I'm gonna take her nose around into a two position. And maintain 15% pressure on the inside leg and probably 10 to the outside because she wants to fall in a little. Just vary those leg pressures as we go. Forward and around. Open the brake rein out, inside leg to go out and around to the next cone. 